Hi everyone. Today's topic is on foundation. This pictures represent foundation of the ongoing site. So in this picture, shattering has been done and concreting process is going on. In this picture, we have removed all the shattering, curing is done and the foundation is look like this. Okay, we'll move on to the next slide. Today's PPT content is introduction, main components of a building, purpose of foundation, essential requirements, types of foundation, and there will be a small assessment test. Okay, introduction. What is foundation? Foundation is a base for the any structure. You say it's a key point, means starting point. Okay, so we can call that as a starting point. So usually for the foundation, it has two main components. One is superstructure, another one is substructure. Okay, what is superstructure? So you all can see through your naked eye. Okay, so building component the which exists above the ground level. So are constructed above the ground level is called as a superstructure and substructure. Okay, substructure is a one constructed below the ground level. It's called a substructure. See, in this picture, if we consider this as a ground level, so the construction done below the ground level is called as a substructure. Okay, then the construction done above the ground level is called a superstructure. I think by this picture, everyone has clearly understood what is the main difference between superstructure and a substructure. We'll move on to the next slide. Okay, now we will see the main components of a building. Okay, so when we take a cross section of a building, we'll see some parts of building. So we'll discuss what are those. So first one is foundation. <clears throat> As I said, foundation, it supports the superstructure or structures coming on it. So that is called foundation. Plinth. Plinth is a line which separates superstructure and a substructure. So it will be located just above the ground level. Next is wall. So what is wall? What wall is a divide the space of a construction into number of various rooms. Okay, so it will helpful in providing privacy from Okay, for example, from hall to bedroom, there will be a barrication of a wall like that. Then next is column. Column mainly transfer the load coming on it to ground level. Means it will take the load and it will transfer to the ground level evenly. Okay, next is floors. Floors are those constructed just above the ground level. So if it is in the ground level, we'll call it as a ground floor. If it's flooring happening in the first floor, then we'll call it as a first floor like that. Okay, next comes to this door, windows and ventilators. So doors, you have seen doors, windows and ventilators, right? So those, these are the three things which will, which are small openings provided to the building. And this will act as a communicating media from one space to another. For example, uh, from kitchen to hall. So there will be a door and window for the air circulation and ventilators are provided for the water closets. Next one is stairs. Stairs is nothing but number of steps. So actually steps followed by a next uh, landing, then flight. So it will give a communication from one floor to another floor. For example, ground floor to first floor. So you can communicate by using stairs. 
roofs roofs is the uppermost part of a building which encloses the building from the top next is building finishes building finishes is nothing but after construction is done what you have to do you have to give a final look to a building so how it is done by doing painting pointing cornicing all the uh, decorative items you can use for the finishing purpose for the purpose of good appearance of a building last one is building services so building services means for the building you have to provide some services like water supply sewage water disposal then electric supply etc should be provided for a, the convenient living okay so next slide as the picture of main components of a building see this picture represents the main components of a building so you can see this this is ground level the portion which is coming below the ground level is foundation this is foundation and after this a basement and a plinth then it will be having a wind window sill and window sunset lintel and rcc roof slab rcc means reinforced cement concrete roof slab and a parapet wall okay we, then we'll move on to the next slide foundation foundation what is meant by foundation i think uh, when you are all small you have played with stones right okay so in martidri sannavar idaga he used to arrange stones one after the other kelgade one ittu melgade he used to arrange three four stones at a together right so if you place the bottom most stone in a proper way so other placing of other stone becomes easy alva ondra mele on kal ittu easy age you can kelagin correct agittu antandre other three stones can be withstand properly neat agi idbodu mele do if bottom stone is not fixed properly what happens others will fell down immediately after a certain time foundation is also the same thing foundation means the base of a building should be strong enough to support the upcoming structure right so for a good building good foundation is required okay uh, so what what exactly foundation defines like foundation is a part of building or any other structure which supports the superstructure directly over it okay so what is the objective uh, for the foundation so for foundation is the main objective is to support the superstructure and to uh, like foundation will be done on the ground level so for that purpose we have to study different types of soils and its suitability means for which soil which type of foundation is suitable again next foundation is mainly designed for a two aspects okay so first one is for the soil shouldn't fail by shear so what is meant by shear shear is a pressure produced by lateral shifting of layer to each other means shear means pulling action in the opposite direction so soil should be firm and consolidated with a good density then we can construct a good foundation and second aspect is design aspect is the settlement should should be within the safe limit so there will be a guidelines by indian standards so the uh, design should be within the safe limit okay then we can provide the good foundation okay next we are move on to the next slide okay next is purpose of foundation okay. main purpose what is uh, the meaning of purpose purpose and the meaning you know basically so purpose means a reason or intention what is the intention we are why we are providing foundation so first one is to make 
the to distribute the load to a structure and provide see when you construct a building always you don't get the leveled surface or hard compacted or good density surface right so for that what you have to do so you have to level the surface and make it hard to withstand all the loads coming on it again to increase the stability of structure again to avoid lateral movement and minimize the cracks due to moisture content and to distribute the load in a proper way means uniformly so these are the basic necessity of a foundation if you are constructing a building you have to take care of these points okay next we'll move on to the next slide okay essential requirements of a good foundations means these are the must factors to be followed so if we are constructing a foundation we have to see how much structural load is coming on it right so structural load means dead component okay it's it's not a living thing so the foundation should carry the dead load and even the imposed load what is meant by imposed load the imposed load means it's not a permanent okay for example living load live load so people will be moving and even the non living things like uh, furnitures so it's not fixed the load is not fixed so the foundation should be designed in such a way that you should take dead load even the non permanent means uncertain loads also you should ready to take and it should maintain pressure on the subsoil okay subsoil what is the soil which is com coming underneath the foundation should able to maintain the pressure and even the it should minimize the differential settlement okay again the soil shouldn't shrink or swell due to atmospheric changes okay next factors that influence the foundation means however how much you take care of the soils there will be some factors that will be inflating or making uh, foundation uh, a bit complicated so you need to take care of those things so we'll discuss some factors regarding that so the main factor is soil types and ground water table see wherever you go you don't get same type of soil one side it will be clay soil black cotton soil different types of soils will be there so for different soil types of soil the suitability of foundation also varies even the ground water table so ground water table it depends on the area localities okay second factor is structural requirement and foundation so for every building structural requirement won't be same for office ni office katbekandre structural requirement bere irutte mane katbekandre ne bere irutte loads bere irutte okay so there will be different aspect so adelladru melu no decide maabuttu we have to decide the foundation right so it's a deciding factor okay next one is site condition and environmental factors okay site conditions so means it represent topography so ni vellodrunu onde tara topography sigutha climate sigutha no it's not possible so based on the climatic condition alli en male jaasti idena you know, bisil jaasti idena you know. so based on the climatical factors even the environmental issues so ella nodkonbittu we have to design the foundation okay so next last factor is economy means the amount or money what we spend on the foundation so foundationally deep foundation godvi andre it will be costlier if for shallow foundation it will be less costlier comparatively so these are the deciding factor of foundation so the, uh, based on this foundation will be decided which type of foundation is suitable that can be decided by this so we'll move on to the next slide see here it comes the classification of foundation classification of foundation so foundation is mainly classified into two types one is shallow foundation 
another one is deep foundation shallow means small depth deep foundation means larger depth so here we have a symbolical representation if depth is less than r less than r equal to breadth okay see if it, this is ground level this is depth the arrow is pointing you can just see so depth of a foundation is less than or equal to the breadth of the foundation then it's called as a shallow foundation right see from ground level to this the height is less right the depth is less then it's called as a shallow foundation means small depth okay and deep foundation so you can see here deep foundation means the depth is greater than the breadth right if we consider this as a ground level see this is the depth till we get the old rock we'll do the foundation so this is the depth and this is the breadth so depth will be greater in case of deep foundation than the breadth then it's termed as a deep foundation let's go to the next slide okay so types of foundation so majorly classified into two types as i said shallow foundation so you all know the definition so if the depth of the foundation is equal to or less than its width then it's termed as a shallow foundation see so this figure represent the shallow foundation again deep foundation if the depth of a foundation is greater than its width then it's called as a deep foundation okay so this picture see by this picture only you can say from shallow foundation you can't go for a multi storied building in the case of deep foundation you can go for a multi storage building even the heavier load this load is less means load cap carrying carrying capacity is less we'll move on to the next slide okay so this slide actually gives a brief idea about difference between shallow foundation and deep foundation so we all know what is the major difference shallow foundation i said depth will be less compared to the breadth or equal so in deep foundation so depth will be more compared to its width right again bearing capacity of soil will be more in case of shallow foundation bearing capacity of soil will be less in compare to less in deep foundation again ground water table is low in case of shallow foundation and ground water table is high in case of deep foundation again dewatering is not required for shallow foundation dewatering is required for the deep foundation okay so and load carrying capacity also will be low to the shallow foundation and load carrying capacity is also high for the deep foundation okay so these are the major differences between shallow foundation to deep foundation so for, uh, next will be going to classification of foundation so we all know major classification of foundation is shallow foundation deep foundation so we know the difference what exactly shallow foundation is what exactly the deep foundation is we have seen the thing okay shallow foundation i said where uh, here depth will be less than or equal to breadth here depth will be more than the breadth of foundation okay in the shallow foundation it's further classified into four different types the first one is spread footing next second one is combined footing third one is strap footing fourth one is mat or raft foundation okay so four different types are there again in the spread footing we have three different types so we'll discuss one by one in the next class even the deep foundation in that it's further classified into pile foundation well foundation okay so regarding this classification i think everyone has understand understood what is foundation is basically 
ओके इट्स अ की फैक्टर फॉर एनी बिल्डिंग टू कंस्ट्रक्ट अरे इट्स अ बिगिनिंग ऑफ द वर्क डन फॉर एनी टाइप ऑफ कंस्ट्रक्शन ओके एंड वी लर्न व्हाट आर द मेजर एस्पेक्ट्स टू बी कंसीडर्ड फॉर अ फाउंडेशन एंड what is this design criteria for that and what are the must factors means necessity for the foundation so we learnt all these foundations and different types of foundations also we learnt what is shallow and deep i think everyone has understood this class okay and for the for this today i'll stop here for the next class we'll deal with the shallow foundation okay last but not the least we'll be having some assessment test regarding this ppt at today's topic okay i hope everyone will enjoy this session okay the first question is the part of building constructed below the ground level is known as your options are a plinth b superstructure c basement d foundation okay the answer is option d that is foundation so building components constructed below the ground level is foundation right next question the load of a structure distributed by the foundation is dash a concentrated b varying c uniform d eccentric Okay, the answer is C uniform. Okay, we'll move on to the next slide. Okay, third question. It's fill in the blanks type question. Third and fourth. Okay, I'll read out the third question. If the depth of foundation is equal to or less than its width, so here uh, some symbols are there, is termed as dash foundation. it's shallow foundation the answer is shallow foundation okay the fourth question is the structure constructed above the ground level is called dash it's called as a super structure okay then last question how many types of foundations are there based on the depth your options a 3 b 4 c 5 d 2 okay the answer is d that is two so based on the depth shallow and deep so shallow is one number deep is two number so your answer is d that is two okay thanks for attending mcq questions okay i thank all my team for this classes and i would like to thank our reference team thank you all